WKBS, Burlington, Philadelphia. I'll tell you something, Doc. I think we should stop talking about firing me and start talking about giving me a raise. Miss... Mr. Johnson is here. Oh, that was fast. Hey, you think this guy can fill Wally's shoes, Doc? My name is Dr. Bryson. Doctor. Not doctor. Sorry. Well, we're ready to see him now, Mrs. Bryson. We are ready to see him. Well, I'm going to be working with a guy. I think I should see if we can get along. Get out of here, Sharky. Right, Doc. Oh, doctor. Come in, Mr. Johnson. Well, I'm Dr. Kenneth Bryson. This is Mrs. Bryson, uh, our head nurse. Uh, Richard T. Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Sit down, Mr. Johnson. <clears throat> so, what do they call you? Uh, Richie, Richie Johnson. Well, uh, Richie, thank you for coming out here so promptly. Yeah, it's okay. I, I heard it was urgent. Oh, it is. This is a small hospital. We have only two orderlies. So when we lose one, that reduces the staff by 50%. Uh, you have a letter, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, it's, it's a little crumpled up. I, I guess I got nervous. Relax, Richie. We won't bite. You know, I, I heard things about here. I, I heard maybe this isn't the kind of place that I'm going to be used to. It. This is a private hospital, very private which is why discretion is a very important quality in those we employ. But I'm sure that was explained to you. Oh, yeah, 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 it was. What do you want? Oh, I thought I left my smokes in here. No, you did not. Now, please leave. Well, what do you know? Brought to you by Dawn. Dawn takes grease out of your way. And now Dawn has a new fresh scent. And by Era, the detergent that cleans your whole wash all by itself. Dirt from Denver, Dallas. Miss, your Dirt. clothes get around more than I do. We just jump in our van and go. Well, you ought to try it. With two kids and a cocker spaniel. <laughs> Here. Hey, you ought to try this. Era? Well, nothing beats my powder. So why this spray? That is axle grease, and this is polyester. Mm -hmm. And this, liquid for callers. So if your powder needs help, why use it? Well, Era has ingredients like these. Era does it all by itself. All this? You bet. Pants, collars, even that greasy blouse. Era did it. All by itself. Mind if I... Take my Era? Will you take me too? <laughs> Era does it. <laughs> all by itself. Hmm. Flowers smell fresh. They're plastic. The fresh scent's my new dishwashing liquid. But why not Dawn? This smells better. Clean and fresh. Mmm, the fresh scent's great, but you'll need Dawn to clean this mug, especially after that greasy pan. No problem. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, water doesn't feel greasy. Or my hands. Hey, mug looks great. Okay, what is it? New fresh scent, Dawn. Watch. Half a cup of grease added to dishwater. Dawn breaks up grease, surrounds it, takes grease out of your way, helps keep it from settling back. Flowers smell fresh. It's new fresh scent, Dawn. Dawn takes grease out of your way. And now, it smells better than ever. So you're at City Hospital only eight months, is that correct? Uh, yeah. And a Glenville general for only three months prior to that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. There was a, a little trouble at Glenville, wasn't there? Nothing serious. You were accused of stealing medications. Th that ain't true. Ah, you were framed. It was a mistake, that's all. Well, obviously it's not on your record, since you had no difficulty finding another connection. How long were you in prison, Richie? 
Me? Your name is Richie, isn't it? Well, yeah. Oh, that's all right, Richie. We know all about your prison record. Our friend at City told us about it, including the fact that you uh, concealed that information from the authorities at the hospital. But I am sure that you were framed for that, too. Uh, it, it was another uh, bigger mistake. Uh, look, I swear to both of you, I'm clean now. I, I, I'm an entirely different person from the one I was then. Well, you won't find many temptations to steal here, Richie, since we deal in surgical medicine only. None of it really major. You do know what we do here. Oh, yeah. Uh, facelifts, stuff like that. <laughs> yes. Yes, facelifts and stuff like that. You won't find your duties here very hard, Richie. But we uh, will require you to work somewhat longer hours, perhaps. You'll be allowed time off uh, every other evening and an hour every day. You will alternate weekends with Sharky, our other orderly. Uh, that's, that's good. Okay. Good. And you know, your wages will be considerably higher than what you were receiving. And, of course, you'll have room and board. Yeah, yeah, look, it all sounds fine to me. Now, listen to me, Richie. I can't emphasize this too much. This job demands discretion. When you leave this hospital, you will talk to no one about what goes on here. Is that clear? Uh, yeah, yeah, but look, I... I... What? There is a very good reason for that, Richie. You see, most of our patients are well-known figures in business and the arts, and some of them, celebrities, would much rather not be bothered by the press and by their fans. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, but, you know, I, I, I'm a little worried. I, like I said, I, I'm only used to a, a general kind of hospital. I, I, I'm scared that maybe I, I'm not going to know how to act around these people, you know? I can assure you, Richie, they are just like everyone else. In fact, most of them are quite ordinary. Yeah, yeah I, I, got, I got an idea. Maybe I, I should just walk around the hospital a little bit, you know, say hello to the patients just to see if uh, I, I'm going to fit in, uh, whether I decide yes, no. I thought you had decided. Why else are you here? We were told that you could start at once. Now, if that is true, you will be dealing with the patients soon enough. Well, is it yes or no? If it's yes, I want you in uniform immediately. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. All right, Mrs. Bryson, we'll show you to the locker room. <laughs> Come with me, Richie. My, you are a tall one, aren't you? <laughs> well, Chief, I guess you could say it was a successful trip. I mean, we did get our man, even though he turned out to be a small cog in a big machine. I wouldn't worry about that, Calvin. Small cogs can turn big wheels. I think if we promise this guy immunity, he'll sing like a bird. Chief, what's been going on back here? I mean, look, you know what case I'm really interested in. I'm sorry, Calvin. It's only bad news as far as Nancy Carr is concerned. Well, they didn't find a body. I mean, nobody said yeah, anything. they didn't find a body, but they found something very discouraging. Well, what is it? A famous bracelet of hers we've been relying on for identification. Yeah, well, where'd they find it? One of the poorer sections of the Mission District. And you sure it's the same one? Positive. It was unique, you know that. Besides, Mike Carr identified it. <sighs> it doesn't sound good. Sounds like somebody must have really gotten rough with the lady. By the way, they're going to mail it to us for positive identification. It'll be coming addressed to your attention, so... <sighs> Their uh, lab boys have checked it out, I suppose. Yeah, but nothing proved out. No, the only interesting note was he said the clasp was badly twisted as if somebody might have ripped it off her arm. Listen, let me change the subject. This came in while you were gone, too. It's from Deborah Saxon. Hollywood. Turn it over. Read it. Having wonderful crime. Wish you were here. So she actually wound up out there, huh? Well, I guess that cinches it. One of the better PDs in the country. Yeah, well, you take my word for it. She's going to make it even better. Although I still wish I could go downstairs and find her sitting at the next desk. I'll see you later. OK. Oh, Calvin, there, there is someone sitting at that desk.
hey. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Exactly what is it you think you're doing? I thought I was reading. Well, I suggest you find yourself a reading room, pal. You're sitting in the wrong pew. expect when I experiment with a new recipe. So, I'm always careful to include one surefire dish or ride a French fries. I can always count on them tasting good no matter what I serve them with. Sweet and sour liver! And French fries. When all Rida French fries are part of a meal you can't miss. When it says all Rida, it's always all Rida. I didn't mean to shock you, detective. I guess I should have waited until Chief Mallory introduced us. I uh, suppose I probably could have figured it out myself. I mean, he did tell me before I left last week that you'd be joining us. In case you didn't get the name, it's Stone or Calvin Stone. Tyler. Damien. That's D-A-M-I-A-N. Do me a favor. Don't shorten it. Oh, you won't have any trouble with that. I'm not too fond of Cal, either. I'm sorry about using your desk, but nobody told me which one was mine. Although, I guess I could have figured it out if I wanted to be a little nosy. See what I mean? No, those yours? I usually keep a uh, razor and shaving cream in my desk. Tell me, what did it feel like working with a lady cop? Well, if you really want to know the truth, I stopped thinking of her as a lady and thought of her as a cop. Real dog, huh? And don't you believe it? She looked terrific. As a matter of fact, every guy in this department was after her. This her? Yeah, that's her. Whew, you weren't kidding. Now, why would a gorgeous woman like this want to wear a uniform? She didn't wear a uniform. She wore plain clothes. As a matter of fact, they, uh, they weren't all that plain. Well, something tells me you really like this girl, Calvin. She was my friend. But more than that, she was one of the best damned officers in this department. As a matter of fact, it's going to take one hell of a cop to fill that seat. Well, not to worry. I am one hell of a cop. I'm sorry I couldn't handle that autopsy for you, Derek, but by the time I got back from Key West... Well, don't worry about it. Doc Fisher was glad to take care of it. It was just routine. Besides, I think it's more important for you to be with Nicole. How's she doing? Well, she's definitely recovering. We know that. Blood tests are good. But she's still very weak. She needs all the rest she can get to help ward off any infection. Still a very crucial time for her, huh? Now, the convalescence is going to take a lot longer than we thought. Still, I'd rather have her down there in the hot sun than up here trying to worry about a job, running a household, taking care of a baby. Not to mention taking care of a husband. How are you getting along without her? Well, I still have a sizable family, you know. There's uh, Jody, Mrs. Goodman, Adam, a dog. Yeah, but it can't be the same with Nicole missing. No. But speaking of missing people... Oh, Miles, please, no. Don't ask me about Nancy. No, 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 I wasn't going to ask you about Nancy. I know you must get questions every day about and her. And I just finished with Calvin. No, the missing person I'm thinking about is my sister. April? You're not going to tell me that... Oh, no. If you were serious, you would have mentioned it as soon as you walked in the well, door. Well, it's not the same kind of a problem. I mean, she's been in touch with her housekeeper so that we presume that she is safe and that the uh, disappearance is voluntary. Still, we don't know where she went or why she left so suddenly. She probably just... Needed to get away for things no, for a few no, days. It's not her style. You see, if it was something like that, she would have let somebody know. Yeah, but some women are like that. They like to be secretive. Believe me, I, I know. April is not Raven, if that's who you mean. Well, then why don't you ask Draper? Well, Draper and April are temporarily separated, you know? Well, she may have told him anyway. There's only one problem with that. I don't have any idea where Draper is, either. What am I doing here? I was going to come, get a quick look at room 210, and then get out. Chase. 
things I do for my family really do mean a lot. So I care about everything that touches our lives. Like White Cloud. White Cloud? Uh-huh. I can't buy a softer bathroom tissue. Feel. Mmm. But White Cloud's more than soft. It's made of two full fluffy plies. And you know the two is more than... One. And White Cloud's absorbent, too. Watch. Wow, it is. The most absorbent. Softness, fullness, absorbency. They're all little things that add up to White Cloud quality for this family. White Cloud, because little things mean a lot. Beautiful! Here's a little housewarming gift. Oh, I'll get the glasses. Uh, use these. Oh. <laughs> Puritan oil. Puritan's part of our diet to fight cholesterol. And it makes food taste great. I always use corn oil. Puritan has more polyunsaturates than corn oil. It also looks lighter. It tastes lighter. You have excellent taste and gifts. <laughs> Puritan, a delicious part of your diet to fight cholesterol. Well, I think our Mr. Johnson's going to do just fine. May not have the criminal background that Wally Bascom has, but I... I think he's dishonest enough to meet our uh, standards. Please stop talking that way. You make us sound like mobsters. Well, he only serve mobsters, my dear. That's an entirely different thing, as you enjoy pointing out to me. We perform services for everyone, Kenneth, including charity cases. Now, do you think we could afford those cases if we didn't collect from other sources? Oh, please, Beth. Spare me the philosophic discourse. It bores me. Kenneth, you are the one who has set policy for this hospital and the choices we made abroad. Sometimes I wish we'd stayed abroad. This is our home. Well, we may have to leave our home sweet home before long. Oh, no. No, no, we are not leaving. Not if I have any say in the matter. If anyone goes, it's Mrs. Carr. Abroad? <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's an idea. We'll buy Mrs. Carr a one-way ticket to uh, Timbuktu or... Uh, the uh, Australian bush country. I think she'd go willingly. The only place she would go willingly is to the police station. Oh, no way. Sharky wants more money. What? That's right. He wants an increase. He's no longer a mere employee, you realize. He's uh, now uh, elevated himself to the rank of co-conspirator. What? Do you think he means to make trouble? Sharky. <laughs> no, he's only too happy to be of assistance. Now he's uh, fallen on something bigger than he thought, and now he wants his share of the spoils. Well, maybe he wouldn't be such a bad partner after all. Ugh. The man has no brains. He also has no scruples. Excuse me, I think I will go and see how our friend Richie is getting along. April, I promise I'll be careful. Oh, I, I can't. Because I've got to play this thing out for another couple of hours. Maybe I can walk around here, get a tour of the place, then look in on room 210 to that mysterious bandaged woman. Uh, look, I gotta go. Someone's coming. Well, what haven't you changed? Um, I had to make a quick phone call. Well, that's not a very good way to start a new job, Richie. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get dressed right away. Uh, look, you'll have to excuse me. I am a nurse. Yeah, but I ain't a patient. All right. Be dressed when I get back. It's just not in it, is it? No, it isn't. When I think of all the hours I have spent at this bar, all the days and the weeks of practicing and rehearsing, planning each move, learning new dances, for nothing. <laughs>
It was all a big waste. No, it's not for nothing. You've trained. You've even learned something. Now, that's got to be of some value. Yeah, I suppose it is, but when you're training for a public performance, Kelly, it's different. It really is different. <sighs> Jody, the Whitney is not the only theater in the world, you the know. The Whitney is the only theater in Monticello. The very first one. And I was going to be part of it. Oh, boy, how quickly things change. No. Things don't change that quickly. Skyler Whitney's been a rat for years. And Gavin and Martine, well, they've been in love for quite a while. In fact, they're just beginning to realize how much in love they really are. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And I want them to be happy, Martine and Gavin. But that dance company was, was my happiness. Hey, look, it means a lot to them, too. Hell, Martine was the star. I know. You know, it was Gavin Wiley's first shot as a major choreographer. But you don't see him walking around the studio crying about it. It's because they're happy, Jody. They've got each other. Look, you've got me. You understand that? Yeah, I understand that. Kelly, I hope you don't think that you're not enough for me because you are. But you must know how I'm feeling. I mean, everything just disappeared so suddenly. Yeah, I uh, think I understand. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, uh, can we put on a happier record? I'm tired of this gloomy music. Well, you certainly don't look gloomy. Why should I? Everything's terrific. <laughs> That's not what I've been hearing. Well, you shouldn't listen to her. Things have never been better. Well, have you heard something about the dance company? Uh, no, Jody. Um, that's finished. For now. Um, for us. But I don't care. It just doesn't matter. The only dance company that matters to me is the one with Martine. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. You're so upset about this, no. aren't you? No, don't worry about me. I'm gonna be fine with Kelly's help. Hey, I'm not happy about this. Jody, about you losing your job. And I'm not happy about the wonderful people that we picked for the company. It's not going to be fun calling them and telling them it's all off. No, it isn't. <sighs> Look, I know I should be as sad as you are now, but I just can't. All I can think about is Martine and that we finally resolved all our differences. Finally! Things are going to work out, Jody. Just wait and see. Hey, Marge, does your mouthwash work as long as Listerine? Mine works just as long. Uh, uh, uh. Almost as long. Uh, uh, uh. Long enough? Uh, uh, uh. Look, Listerine's strong. It keeps your breath clean hours longer than your number two mouthwash. And Listerine antiseptic kills the germs that can cause bad breath. Nice tip, girl. For clean breath that lasts hours longer, should you ever be without Listerine? Uh, uh, uh. Gracious. Howdy, Keebler. You the little baker of these buttery taste in townhouse crackers? Yes, sir. Well, the girls and I was wondering if you needed some butter. No, sir. Keebler townhouse crackers are buttery tasting, but their rich buttery taste comes from elf and magic, not butter. Shh, not so loud. What's wrong? Talk like that could start a stampede. Keebler townhouse crackers for a rich buttery taste. Archie and Mike's tempers flare as they lock horns over the soon-to-be Stivic's religious persuasion on All of the Family tonight at 7.30. And later, Felix decides to become a writer, and Oscar thinks he's wasting his time on The Odd Couple tonight at 11 on Channel 48. Yes, I was. Sharky. Matt Sharky. Good to know you, Matt. No, no, no. Just Sharky. Richie. Richie Johnson. Oh, welcome aboard, Richie. Thanks. I'll tell you one thing. You found no bucket of sweet cream here. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I hear it's a pretty good deal. Hey, the suit fits you. Me, I have to have mine uh, tailored. I don't like to go around looking like a slob, if you know what I mean. They've got all these rich, fancy patients here. A guy's got to look his best. Yeah, uh, I can see your point. You know, sometimes before I hit the town, I don't even bother changing. It cuts down on your time. Besides, some of the chicks think I'm a doctor. Oh, what about the patients? I mean, uh, how many patients you got here? Uh, you can count them on one hand. Take your pick. That's one of the good things about working at the Rexford. They work you long, but they don't work you to death. Yeah, that's, um, that, that's good. Uh, what about women? I mean, uh, how many women patients you got here? Half and half. Uh, I, I was just asking because I, I figured, you know, maybe more women would come to a place like this than uh, men. Don't kid yourself. Men are just as vain. Yeah, uh, look, maybe one of these days you, you walk me around here, okay? Um, show me what's going on so the patients, you know, they, they get to know me. Yeah. Sure thing, Richie. I'll show you the ropes. But one thing I don't want you to forget. And what's that? I'm the top dog here. Yeah, you got it. That's it, what? I'll catch you later. What's the matter? You, mean you got a problem? No. You know, when I saw you in Bryson's office, I thought you looked familiar. Uh, got that kind of face, you know? No, no, that's not it at all. I've seen you before. And I know where. While you may know how well saran wrap works in the freezer, you may not know how well it works in the microwave oven. With a piece of ice, we're about to demonstrate how rugged saran wrap is. You see, the unique molecular structure of saran wrap makes it the perfect wrap for the freezer and the microwave. In fact, saran wrap can take the torture of going from freezer to microwave without melting or rupturing like other wraps do. Saran wrap, the wrap that's tough enough to go from one extreme to the other. Saran wrap from Dow. I'm a jailhouse marine. I've been 14 years in prison. Tonight, a man takes the rap for smuggling illegal liquor, only to learn that his partner has double-crossed him while he was in jail. I'm going to have some sense beaten into you. And I hope that works, because if it doesn't and you come around here again, I'll have you beaten up and thrown out again and again until you crawl. Bird Lancaster and Kirk Douglas star in a battle of greed and revenge. I walk alone, tonight at 8 on Channel 48. Tonight at 8, see more movie with fewer commercials when Burt Lancaster and Liz Scott star in I Walk Alone. A mobster from Prohibition days is released from prison after serving 14 years. Now stay tuned as Marilyn McCoo and Tony Tennille guest star on The Love Boat next on Channel 48. This is Field Communications in Philadelphia. You can breathe unpleasant tobacco smoke and odors, or you can breathe cleaner, fresher air with the Good Air CA-90 Ecologizer. This recirculating air cleaner deodorizer actually removes tobacco smoke, odors, dust, and pollen continuously. The unique dual filtering system contains CA-90, a powerful natural deodorizer, plus activated charcoal. And now, there are Welcome back now. Here, 